Hi there, it's Paul from Behind the Lens again, and today we are going to continue to set up our Crane M2. As I said in a previous vlog, the one challenge is that the Crane M2 has limited connect connectivity according to the list of cameras that are being provided by the manufacturer, but that's not really true. So how do you pair your Lumix G7 or any kind of Lumix for that matter with the Crane M2, very simple, you download the ZY Play app. It's very simple, it's both on Apple and on Android available, not for Microsoft phone users, if still any left. We'll open it up here, it's a very simple app. It gives you the Smooth Q2, the Crane M2, the Rider M and some trans mount images. You connect now, make sure that you switch your uh, gimbal on, <laughs> otherwise you're gonna have a problem. It's connecting to the device, it's very simple. You just press the enter now button, you press on camera unless you're shooting with a phone, and you'll see the screen here immediately. Now it's connected via Bluetooth uh, to, your, to your camera, so that's uh, to your gimbal. So it's very simple. But now we're gonna try to connect the camera which according to the compatibility list shouldn't be possible, but I can assure you it is. So here you see the Lumix G7, and to be very honest, I don't think it matters whether it's a G7, uh, an LX100, a GX80, I don't really think it matters. I think for those of you who really use the Panasonic imaging app actively, it is quite simple. It's a similar principle we have here to set it up. What you want to do is basically connect your device here with the crane so since you have the app open and this is critical leave the app open the uh, zy play leave it open you just punch in here the wi-fi button it says please wait now there's a wi-fi function you create a new connection you choose the same as with the um, uh, with the panasonic imaging app remote shooting and view because you want to bring it under control of your smartphone you just let it scan here a bit. Now I've set this up previously, but as you can see here, it is very much under remote control now. So with that, you can also see it's very nicely balanced and I see the lens is hunting here. So it's very simple to have that connectivity. So we can see here now we have the Bluetooth icon, which is highly lit, which means is that you are connected to your gimbal in order for us to take control of our Lumix camera, regardless of what it is, you have to activate the Wi-Fi and it will start searching. And as you can see here, the identification has been successful. Now you have to select manually. Is it Panasonic? Yes. And then you basically have the control via your remote here over the uh, camera. Now, this button here is very simple. That's the record button. The white button here is basically to take stills. Here you can see the cameras under control. Here you can select your modes. Yeah, so you have the PF, the FDL, the phone go, the POVs and the vortex. Now to be very honest, you can easily switch those. Unfortunately, you can't customize them as you can on the, on the actual phone. You can also sync some of the motions if you want to. This little thing here is to control your vertical axis. So it tilts to the left or to the right, which is quite nice. Here you control the motions up and down to the sides. It doesn't really work in the mode I mean currently I'm shooting in PF. Yeah, we have here the W and the T. This is to control your motor when you're shooting in vortex mode. So to be very honest, there's a big myth that the Lumix G7 or any other Lumix camera that isn't on the list isn't compatible. That's a load of nonsense. It is. You can easily, if you're used, to, if you're a user of the Panasonic Image app, you know exactly how to do it. It takes you five seconds. So with that, I have to say that this is pretty functional. It allows you to control the gimbal remotely. It works smoothly, and it isn't such a battery drain. So with that, people, I'd say this is a, is a success. If you want to know more, I'm going to do more of these reviews, documentaries. You can pretty much see it. Uh, on my blog and you can subscribe here. Thanks very much. Until next time.